So we hear the FXI tech or FXI technology, what do you say? FXI technologies. So who are you? I'm Thomas Langus and I'm VP of engineering. And I'm one of the guys that are working on what you see here, which is called the cotton candy. So your company invented this, right? You invented this. Yeah, we launched it publicly in November 2011. And it was the first version of what people know today as the HDMI stick. This is actually much more than an HDMI stick. It's a computer, the world's smallest computer. So it's a full PC? Yeah. It's a full PC running on ARM. So, and did you get this idea? Yeah, so we started just doing something else. We started doing graphics on SD cards. And then we had an idea, how can we showcase our use cases with off-the-shelf components? And that is when we thought of this device. And then this is how it came to life. And we, we realized after demonstrating it in public that this was a huge market potential and the, it was, could be used for much more than what we had thought about when we launched it. And today we have 250 partners working on the device, integrating their ideas and technology and, and uh, applications, providing and creating their own solutions. We have also a lot of uh, individual developers working with the device and we started selling it online August last year and we have got a lot of great response back from users. We're, we're still not at a stage where we consider the software to be done. That's why we're still targeting developers. We expect to have a Ubuntu platform ready by end of March and we expect an Android platform ready a bit later and we are targeting Jelly Bean since it's starting to become a demand in, in, by our partners. So what do you say, what was that SD card graphics? What, did, what was it for? How did it work? And when was that? The, so the, the, we, uh, some of us worked in Phalanx creating the Mali GPU. When Phalanx got bought by ARM, we had a patent uh, that was uh, spun out into FXI Tech. And the patent was basically around a way of doing computing over memory cards or a memory bus. And we had the idea that if you put a graphics or GPU inside an SD card with a small CPU as well, you could prolong the life of old cell phones so that you could upgrade the cell phone just using an SD card. Micro SD? Yeah, micro SD. So that's how can you have a processor and GPU in a micro SD? It was possible. Yeah, it's you possible. You actually did it. Yeah, we did. So the only thing we didn't do was produce the actual chip because that costs a lot of money and that's where it stopped. We had to have a customer yeah. and no customer would go, go with us until we had a test chip. But you had the design? Yes, we have the design. And we still, when was that? Uh, so the company started in 2006 and we had the design as late as 2010. I think the latest designs was still active. Uh, and that's when we started thinking about how can we commoditize, uh, do this with off-the-shelf components to show what we really are showing and, uh, with something else. And uh, who are the engineers? Uh, where are you? Are you, you are, so the, all the engineers are based in Trondheim in Norway. We are a stone throw away from the ARM office in Trondheim. And I think we are four engineers now that come out of ARM, are ex-ARM employees. And we are 12 people in Trondheim in total. You are ARM as well? Yeah. Yeah? So, and you are part of that... Uh, Graphics. Yeah, I used to work in the Mali graphics team in ARM so, and in Phalanx. So uh, you showed it the first time October, is it 2011? Yeah, November 2011. Which conference was that? We had a wine and dine press event in New York. Just for you to show it? Well, it's, uh, it, was a, it was a bigger press event, but it's, yeah. it's for companies to show new things, basically. And that's where you showed it? Some people made some videos? Oh, yeah, that was views. huge. <laughs> a million or? I don't remember, but 
huge views. Yeah. And what happened exactly? How many did you sell the first version? And this is the second version, right? So we we uh, we didn't we didn't uh, we didn't sell the first version. We just showed it, yeah. and we had several thousand interest. I mean, uh, response from the companies was like huge. And uh, we started selling it in August, and this is the version we started selling. Uh, and what happened between the first and the second version? We changed the design a bit to make it a bit smaller, and we also did some improvements on the various stuff in the hardware. But basically, we discovered that the design was a bit too big. So this is the version that the final version. So what does it have around there? It's a plastic sleeve plastic to protect sleeve? to protect the HDMI and USB port. And you also have a micro SD card and a micro USB port. Nice. So the micro SD card is where we store the operating system and all the user content. So it's booting of the micro SD card. Meaning you can change your operating system if you want to. Or if you manage to crash, crash your operating system, you can just rewrite it. Rewrite it. So yeah. It's you will safe. yeah, you will never be able to brick this device. You cannot brick it, no. for sure. Yeah. And uh, so, but wouldn't it be a little bit faster to have the OS on the device somehow? It would be faster, but it's also a bit more costly. And okay. we did consider integrating EMMC instead of this, but it's also a matter of size. I mean, the, the PCB inside is very packed. So uh, if we were to integrate flash on the device and still have the SD card possibility, it might be a bit bigger. So we did this for the first version. We might do something different when we're coming out with the next generation, but so we're still deciding on that one. So they have three connected, that's how they look. Um. So how many did you sell? Did you, can you say that? As no, I'm not in liberty to okay. disclose. So since August, people can buy it on your website. Yeah. How much? One ninety-nine US dollars. And With shipping? Hmm? Plus shipping? Plus shipping. Plus shipping. And we're shipping to the whole world. So what are you showing here? Here we're showing one of our partners that has created a mobile set box pay TV solution on top of our Android platform. We also provide a Ubuntu Linux-based platform, but it's all up to our partners to choose what they want. Uh, the end users can also download whatever platform they want from our web page and, and put it on the SD card. So this is an example of how they foresee the TV be, becoming in, in the, the years to come. With, uh, this is how they see the electronic pro program guide. and. It's a bit different from what you are used to today with the normal set of boxes you see in your living room today. And this is on demand movies. Nice. So do you also have, uh, so basically do you switch the HDMI to one or the other one on the TV to show the, what you have on the other one? Yeah. There, you're going to put into uh, This is, narrow. yeah, it's Ubuntu Linux. We are... Uh, using the Linux Ubuntu Linux distribution as our base platform for Ubuntu Linux. That's uh, awesome, no? Yeah. So what um, can you do in there? Well, basically you can do anything you can do in Ubuntu Linux. Uh, anything? Anything. Uh, what we are working on now is hardware accelerating and media playback. And this is why we, will say, we, were, we are saying that it's not ready yet for as a product. And it will be ready by end of March. So this is what we're working very hard on now, to be able to accelerate in hardware, media playback on H.264 and MP4 and the various formats. Right now it does it in software a little bit? Yeah, so we have hardware playback, but not inside X11. It's, you have to do it on the command line outside of X11. So we're using GStreamer as the front end, but what we expect to have in the end is 
so that you can use any player in, in your X11, uh, X11 environment. How much work does that require to do videos? So it requires a lot of work for the engineers to integrate everything in all the various components because on a normal ARM platform you have various components in charge of various steps in the process. It's not like in the PC where you can do every, everything from one place and you just have to get everything working together and that's more work and that's what we are doing now. Nice. All right, so Ubuntu and uh, Android, is that the two or you have more? Yeah, that's the two we have. That's the two? Yeah. All right, so 4210, is yeah. that the one inside? Yeah, Samsung Exynos 4210. So are you announcing the next version or not? Not now. It could be, but you're probably working on something. We are working on something. We don't know yet when it will be available. Cool. So we are not announcing anything yet. So do you imagine a billion of these on the market in two years or what? So I think the market analysis says that by 2014 they are expecting a million plus devices. And then they're expecting Gartner to start picking up this, these kind of devices as a way of analyzing what's happening in this market as well. And then time will show. Did you say a billion or a million? Million. One million only in 2014? Yeah, that's the negative, I mean. But it's already been more than that, no? With all the, what do you think about all these other chips that are being used by other, that are also doing HDMI sticks? So, uh, I mean... Are you happy about that the industry... Yeah, is I mean, we use? like the idea of a lot of these coming out because that verified the idea we had that this form factor is actually something. And that's what you're seeing. Everybody is coming with them now. This means that the form factor we created actually works and it's something that the market has accepted and it's something the market wants. And I mean, when we showed it, we were still a bit uncertain, is this the correct thing to do? How will the market react? And now we see the market loves the idea. Everything, I mean, everybody's coming with them. But uh, were you really unsure? I mean, I'm sure you knew that Well, it was we, had a, we, we, were, I mean, we had the, a, a, a certain idea, but we still didn't know how the market would react to it. Because it's tiny. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, what? I didn't understand. How can it? And it was like, no, it's not possible. <laughs> and basically now, one can get used to the idea that maybe next Mobile World Congress, companies are going to give out PCs on a stick instead of USB sticks. With That's correct. I suspect that will happen, and then, you, then you'll see. I mean, you'll see high-end sticks, and you will see low-end sticks, and you will see mid-range sticks. So you'll see the same that's happening or has been happening in mobile space for a long time. You will see this is considered to be a high-end stick, and you you also have high, low-end and mid-range sticks, to, depending on what features you want and what you want to do with it. Do you think that we're not far from uh, the performance of this stick to be fast enough to uh, run the whole web? To run all the cloud apps and run all the apps you would want to have on a desktop kind of device. Well, you have already seen the, the the Chromebook running, and it's running on a application processor similar to this one. It's a more it's a more recent one, but still it's similar. So I think we'll see it in maybe a year's time that you will see the exact exact same performance on these as you will see in smaller laptops. And you think those newer, faster processors are required, or is it also being software optimized for the existing ones? No, that will make them fast enough to so it's, run it's a bit of both, because in some cases software is optimized for x86 platform, and when you're moving to ARM, you either need a faster CPU or you need to optimize, or in some cases a combination of both. <laughs> so it's cool. You saw Dell? Yeah, actually, yeah, I saw them. That's cool that they're yeah, announcing that's an, right Yeah, that. and that's another verification of the idea. Yeah, it's validating our idea. It's awesome. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for Thank the story. This is awesome. Looking forward to what you